Hey guys, welcome back. iOS 15 is finally here. Uh, for those of you that own the iPhone SE, the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, uh, for these devices, you should be able to receive iOS 15 update. There are two choices. If you are below 14.8, um, you should be able to receive um, both update, either 14.8 or iOS 15. So if you want to upgrade directly, just go to software update. And then when you scroll down, you should be able to receive uh, this update uh, where you can update to iOS 15. And on the iPhone SE, for me, it is around uh, 2.50 gigabyte. And it is um, the size is depend on the phone that you are on, um, like um, on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, it is um, around like around 3 gigabyte. And I also receive a 14.8 update as well on the top and 15 at the bottom. Um, so for me, I recommend you to connect to the stable Wi-Fi in order to update to uh, this version. One more thing, um, you need to make sure that auto lock is um, set to never. To be able to successfully update, um, you need to have at least 50% of the battery life. And uh, one more thing is you need to make sure that you connect to the charger um, in order to update. For some of you that encounter issues while you're trying to update is um, because like uh, in date and time, uh, you can set to automatically. Otherwise, sometimes the update will be failed. And thanks for watching. And this is the quick update. And I will upload more about uh, the speed comparison on the iPhone SE or the iPhone 7. And I got uh, two iPhone 7 here that I will test for you. And then we'll see you guys in the next one.